it is me, Series Zoro OMG, and I'm back with another bad fanfiction reading. It is uh, the forgotten, uh, the forgotten Weasley by uh, Emo Mermaid. And today's chapters I'll be reading will be Yerai and Emerald. Okay, here we go. Yerai, you're going to kill you, they say in unison. Ron and Hermione just told me, and Draco, they were going to kill us. My own brother! Yeah, right, I sigh. I take out my wand. Lumos, I lazily say. A bright red light shoots and burns at the top of my wand! Hermione falls to the ground lifeless! Ron looks scared! That's not what Lumos does! <laughs> that is not! I'm not sure what's even funnier. That? A possibly leaving Hermione unconscious? Or Ebony trying to do Crucio? But instead, the cat comes out of her wand. I'm not sure which is funnier, but that was hilarious. <laughs> Ron, don't worry, I won't hurt you. You are my brother, even though you are mean to me. I still don't want to hurt you. I'm sorry I killed your girlfriend. I thought she was unconscious or in a freaking coma or something. <clears throat> but I don't freaking know. <clears throat> I sigh, pointing to Hermione. But she deserves it. I know that she was evil. She was a horcrux. It's okay, Sapphire. I'm so sorry for being mean. He starts crying. I think Ron would be absolutely heartbroken. He would absolutely lose it had he known that Hermione had died. He would have completely lost it because, I mean, the dude has pretty much seen her as like a love interest for quite a while in their years. I mean, yeah, their friendship had been turbulent at times, but still. You know, they get back together, like in the end. <coughs> <coughs> Come on, Saf, let's go. Draco and I go to the library. We, s we quietly sneak past the librarian, giggling because she doesn't know we are going into the restricted area without permission. We start pulling books out of the shelves. We finally came across a book called An Animangus. How to become one. Why would you want to do that? I hope you're not trying to you're not trying to copy the martyrs or something. <laughs> Draco and I Draco and, st and started reading. This sounds cool, I whisper. Yeah, let's go do it, he says. No, no, no. You are not about to leave Hogwarts grounds like this. Uh 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 oh heck no, no, you are not doing this. One hour later, we have the ingredients to become an Amanigus. I think you made a friggin' POLYGES POTION! <coughs> we look at each other nervously. We both put the mandrake leaves in our mouth. And at the same time. We also read that you can have to chant something every day. Amato animo animato animangus. We chant in unison. I know holding a leaf in my mouth will be hard, but will be worth it. One week later. It had been one week, so, and so far there had been no mishaps about the leaves. I walk into Snape's class, potions which I'm really good at. As a Chiba spelled witch! <laughs> and sit next to Draco. We talk, hiding the leaf butt under our tongues. Snape enters the room majestically, glaring at everyone. Sapphire, what are you eating? He says. Um, she probably chewed on some gum! No, really. <laughs> Nothing, I close my mouth tightly. There will be no eating in my class. Is that clear? Now go spit out your food. I get up and walk to the trash can and pretend to spit out my food. Pew, that was close. After class, Draco and I head to the great hall to eat. We get letters from our parents. Draco reads his and silently stuffs it in his robes. Mine saying, Dear Sapphire, we are surprised that you haven't been sent home yet because of your foolish tricks. Also, we are very disappointed to hear you have been sorted into Slytherin. We want you to go to Dumbledore and ask to be switched. Until you are in Gryffindor, we will not talk to you or send letters. Sincerely, Mrs. and Mr. Weasley. Mr. and Mrs. Weasley? Not Mom and Dad? Wow, that really hurts! What the actual what?! <laughs> Stop! This is not- this is not happening! <laughs> what is going on? Stop! Stop! <laughs> Stop! 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 Author 
there's no. Okay, so this is uh, this chapter is re is long than usual. Thanks to my friends who encouraged me to make it longer. Thank you for so much for thirty reads. Love ya, readers. <laughs> my goodness, why is it always the terrible fix that get that get a lot of recognition? Whereas the people who actually put their effort and who work hard on their fix literally get, like, nothing in return. I don't get it. Okay, next chapter. Emerald. During lunch today, I ran into Emerald again. She was hanging out with Harry Potter. He was her best friend. He, Harry and I had not, had not talked since he admitted to liking me. Hey, Em, I say. Hey, Saf, what's up? She looked confused. I also hadn't talked to her in a while. I was fuming. Why do she hang out with with him more than me? I thought we were friends. Why don't you always hang out around that loser, I ask. Clear annoyment in my voice. Annoyment! <laughs> that is not a saying. Clear annoyant! You hear? It! Not meant! <laughs> oh my gosh. He is nice, she exclaimed. Um, sure he is. Why don't you hang out with Draco and I? She get tense when I say Draco's name. Do you like Draco? She blushes and hides her face. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I whisper. <laughs> okay, that was totally not the way I was supposed to say it. Just pretend I said it calmly like Dumbledore. Like, he's, like he would, instead of saying, Harry, have you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? He would say, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Honestly. <laughs> I run off and find Draco. Hey, babe, I say. How are you? I ask. I'm okay. Good. Do you know Emerald Black, right? Well, she likes you. Whoa, really? She's hot. <laughs> um, hello? I'm your girlfriend. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Sorry. He apologized. Whatever. I huffed. <laughs> I walk away and head to Hagrid's hut. Hagrid and I had become close over the past couple of weeks. Hey, Hagrid. Hey, I was looking for you, he said. I have big news. You know about Sirius, how Sirius Black adopted Emerald? She is his actual daughter, and you're her twin sister! What the blood? What is this blood twist? I'm sorry, but goodness Gracious! Is this my immortal hiding in this? Excuse Oh! Oh God! This is ridiculous! Ridiculous! That's level shout. This is ridiculous! <laughs> and it's <see. laughs> But oh crap, crap, crap! I forgot. Okay. Hey, while well, I was looking for you, I had big news. You know how Sirius adopted Emerald? She is his actual twin husband. She is his actual daughter. And you are her twin sister. And that is makes me. Ugh! Okay, I read it in the proper accent, in the Scottish accent, like I should, but I oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not consistent with my voices, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Authors know, thanks for reading, I've entered in an OC reviews to have my OC reviewed. It really helped a lot, so y'all so you, should check them out. Thanks a lot for of reads. Next chapter, when I get five votes... And five comments. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> this was absolutely hysterical. This was amazingly hysterical. I give this story literally an F minus. Period. An F minus. Yeah. It, it, it's gotta be an F minus. So anyway, so... So next chapters will be Emily Pistachio. What kind of name is that? And death. Okay. I will, um, okay. I will see you guys next time.